Hello YouTube, this is Omid and here with another Wargame Erland Battle video. Today we're going to be having another conflict with the 9E or the 9E Dima, this time against the 510th Independent Tank Brigade. Now, it's uh, going to be a bit annoying because basically if you remember last video we would just finished strangling the living daylights out of another Soviet force, but now this one has shown up. So, uh, so basically we've lost control of Hamstad, and we're going to have to start all over again. Now I was very disheartened by this, I'll admit. I was I actually half considered uh, quitting the game altogether, just because there's been so much fighting, and I, I don't seem to have got anything out of it. But, um, so here's the plan. Okay, um, this sector is the only real way the Soviets can get to Copenhagen, so as long as I keep the 9E Dima alive and kicking here, then Copenhagen and Denmark are pretty much safe. So, the plan is quite simple, okay. Now, as before, I have no anti-aircraft defences to speak of, really. I've got these two AAA and then about, no, only two Crusaders. Um... And because the Soviets have an air force, this is going to go quite badly. Unfortunately, I can't do the Blitzkrieg style attack I've I tried before, quite successfully, for two main reasons. The first is I am now I now only have five harpoon tanks, which is not enough to actually launch a successful attack. They they'd just be too strong, uh, so I don't have enough momentum to break their reinforcement routes and two they're now coming from Halmstad which is way too far away so uh, so I'm not going to go on the offensive in this battle instead I'm going to be playing purely defensive this independent tank brigade is quite low on morale and that means I only have to secure 1500 points of kills um, unfortunately I lack initiative so I can't actually even bring in a big enough force because uh, Dimas have been worn down by heavy fighting. So, uh, let's see. So the plan is quite simple. We're going to be playing this game in defensive mode. The plan is simple. We're just going to hold off against their attacks because while we hold this sector, they can't touch Denmark, which gives us a base to launch future operations. So, the plan is to hold Copenhagen and Kaimar at all costs. Let them advance how they want. So, we're going to do this in a simple way. We've got Flamethrower Infantry and Rima Infantry. So we're going to deploy these units at choke points. We're also going to get some reconnaissance units and set up anti-tank uh, div divisions using the Infantry AT Milan F2. I'm going to set up Actually, we're going to split them up because we don't have too many of these guys left. So we're going to deploy two here. And two here. Reconnaissance forms by these guys. And then another group of Remas. So, two task forces. Um, their job is to defend these two bridgeheads. Up here in Kaimar, we... Hmm, I'm actually quite low on supplies, and I want to buy a uh, Gestix, an FOB, just uh, so I can keep supplying these guys, because supplies will be a crucial drain on resources. So, because we have low initiative, we can't really afford much at this point, so the plan is relatively simple. We're going to deploy forces along these bridges here, here, and hopefully nothing will attack here, but I'll post a recon unit up here when I can afford it, and then defend this bridge here. We and this, basically we're going to hold out for 20 minutes. So let's get started. Should have probably deployed these guys more intelligently, but what are you going to do? It'll probably take them a while to get from Hansland because the AI isn't exactly known for its rushes. So I'm actually going to split these guys into two divisions. One to cover the bridge, the town on one side of the bridge, and then the other one for the other side of the bridge. Let's regroup you guys. So you'll defend here, you'll defend here. Command vehicles here and here. It gives us a good economic um, 
standpoint because we're going to be earning more income from them. Biggest worry at this point is the fact that because we're not being offensive, they'll be able to push them into Delta. They might be able to take Golf. They'll probably take Bravo and Charlie, which means that they'll be able to slowly push up through a series of battles, which could be dangerous. Okay, I'm going to split these guys up a bit more. Regroup these guys. So two, we got two. So one will take the, these. This part of the town. These guys will take this part of the town. Load. Let's get the VB set up here. Come right here. Of course, again, we are lacking in anti aircraft defense, which is. I'm bringing the only defenses I have. They're really not that much, but we can't really do a lot about it. We just have to take it. Hopefully, because we're not actually deploying units in the open, we're more setting up ambushes with ATGM based units. We can hopefully survive a bit longer. Now this this area is a bit going to be hard to defend because it's got all these hills, um, which is basically all these sort of hills and forested areas could block line of sight quite easily. Which means they might be able to sneak up a force. Which means AD games probably aren't that good of a unit here. I probably have I could set up an AT game defense here to hit them as they cross the bridge. That would probably be the best use of the harpoon tanks. Probably. So we'll deploy harpoon tanks here. So it's pretty straightforward. We're holding the line. Okay, first sighting BGRDs. I'm gonna obviously points are limited, so we'll be spending them as you know, I'll try try and have a good defensive line across the entire sector. But um, obviously, if they're attacking one sector, I'll respond in kind. Let's bring in more tanks. Okay, we got bucks, which could be a problem. I'm gonna unload the, these guys. I don't want to get get them stuck in an ambush. There we go. So, computers. Obviously, um, the this battle group is quite low on morale. They'll gain some if this ends in a draw. Which means that if we could hit them with 1500 points worth of kills, that would be nice. But again, I don't want to go on the aggression in this battle. It's too risky. So we're... Then set up some more infantry here, just in case they push in. Actually, I'm going to... I want to know if there's anything in the hills, so I'm, or not the hills, this forested area, because if they sneak an enemy ATGM unit or recon unit, they'd, they'd be able to spot my harpoons. Ooh. Hello. What are you doing here, little UAZ? Where are you going? Looks like he's going up to Bravo sector. It's a risk, but... I do want... There he is. Okay, right in. We still have Super Entendards, AGGMs. If we could get a steady visual on this UAZ, we might be able to do something. Where's he going? You see these... I can't move my VABs up because these BTRs are there. Looks like he's going up into these hills. I might actually sneak up, because Harpoons aren't exactly strong tanks. They're French after all. But they are tanks, and tanks would probably be a BTR. Yeah, I'll be able to get that command vehicle. Let's, let's do it. Attack the command vehicle. Let's kill it. Don't think I got it. I think it might just sneak away. There we go. I'm gonna attack the command vehicle. Okay, back off. You can't really. BTRs are too strong for you. And you hide in there. We've actually got quite a good supply. I'm going to buy a Super Anton Dard just so we have some kind of force here. There. Hmm. What have we got here? Schultzstroms. Okay, let's get the Harpoons out of there. They don't, I don't really want to. And Beer uses. 
I'm actually going to get another force of Remas into the town. Now these guys are... What are these guys? They're only equipped with a flamethrower, so I don't think they can handle a BTR. But the Remas have a bazooka, so I think they should be okay. I'll put a... I'll send a few Remas in there, see what happens. I know these guys... I'm going to send the... Actually, if I, can, if I send the VABs that these Remas have up there... Might be able to do something. Okay, T55 AM2s. These are pretty high-end ones. You can, you can tell because they're equipped with a Bastion ATKM. Again, spotting the glitch where it's not, if you select a unit and then you lose line of sight on it, you can still use these circles to know where it is. Looks like another buck, maybe? Nope, Strela 10Ms. Definitely building up a force. I actually might... I think a good choice of unit here would be some artillery. Let's buy a pair of this set it up here. Away from the actual fighting. Right, so these VABs, I'm going to tell them to unload, get the remit to go into the town, and then the VABs themselves, you guys regroup this task force, and we'll hunt down some BTRs. BTRs are almost certainly better than the VABs, but, but now we have the, the numbers advantage. That's a T80. Oh, okay, these are not valid targets. Stop, unload. Remus, hide in. Okay, so the looks like the, they're too heavily armored for the... Your common and garden VAB. That's it, that's annoying. In the meantime, let's buy in some more. These guys are, are only mortars, so they'll probably have to be a lot closer. We'll deploy them here. Let's see, are these guys set up yet? Nope. Now right, we've got a pretty big task force coming in here. We've got T80 BVs. Now there's pretty much nothing I have that can touch them. Except for maybe the Super Entente Dart. But again, Strellas are set up, so that's going to be a too risky to actually get to cover. Get to cover. Okay, now let's start off with a few ambushes. Okay, you should stop. So you can use your Alrax on the BTRDs. Mortars. Oh, okay, these guys have got poor range. That's to be expected. Oh, T062 tanks. Okay, they're down. That's good. That's good. I think it'd probably be a good idea to invest in defending this town. Might be a good idea. Logistic trucks, what we have. Basic trucks. That's fine by me. 